We're here with Anthony Samadani. He is part of what is known as the Good News Network. Now explain a little bit more about this because you've created this network that only shares good news. It's all good news from around the world, inspirational news. Jerry Weiss Corbley started it 22 years ago. She was a camera operator and producer in, in DC and she was for a news organization and I won't mention the name, but she was so sick of the negative news. I think at the time, in DC, murder rate murder rate was actually all, all time low, yeah. but it was on an all time high in viewership, like on the news. So she was, they're like, oh, good news doesn't sell. So she just had her first child. And she's like, I'm just gonna do it. Taught herself HTML coding and put that site up. I mean, now the science is now catching up with all the books and the science coming out about how waking up to good news actually elevates your mood, right? Yeah. And so we do a thing called uh, morning jolt. If Monday through Friday, you wake up, you get three to four stories to start your morning. But what I did is I came on as co-owner a couple years ago, really taking my entrepreneur background as well as my t TV and film background going, how do we take this and create like almost like a, a good platform of good, not just news, but like all things good from products to media to e events, like really a place where millions of people can go and just, and we push out because that's what s people are searching for. A sad statement is when there's a tragedy, we get an organic uptick just goes to show you how people are just looking for the good news, you know? And, yeah. and it helps that when you Google or Bing, good news, we're number one. We talk a lot at Microsoft about social good, and you don't see a lot of that good news generated anywhere. It's hard for like mainstream news to cover a lot of that. Yeah, they, I mean, you know, they say, you know, the drama sells, right? But I, what we like to say is, every good news story is drama at first. That's why it makes it good, because it's always like the drama and then up, you know, someone survives something, right? So I think if they just change the way they look at things, I mean, if you really, if you really look at the way the news is, it's an old paradigm that hasn't really changed much. And I think good news is millennials and Gen Z, they demand good. I mean, everything's kind of catching up in our favor where it's not just, the younger generation looking for good news, cutting the cord. Forget the nonprofits of the world, which is traditionally how you volunteer, like you said, and did good. Now, millennials and Gen Z are saying, hey, I think it's some staggering number, like 70 or 80% of them will choose a brand yeah. if they find out one has, this has a social impact. Yeah. So it's now you don't have to start a nonprofit, start a for-profit company that does good. Yeah. You know, And what I really want to see with Good News Network is allowing ourselves to really highlight the brands and products and companies and that are really doing the good, you know, not just the, the uh, surface good, but really, you know, part of their DNA. Love it. Yeah. Anthony Samadani from the Good News Network here with us at the International Festival of Creativity, Can Lines. You've been listening to Disruptive FM with Microsoft's head of brand studio, Jeffrey Cologne.